All right, so let's switch gears here because we are having a diaper drive tomorrow. I'm so excited for you. Oh, I'm excited too. So a diaper drive is like a food drive. You know, we're collecting diapers. And if you watch the show, you know that there are lots of families out there who are struggling with the affordability factor and affording diapers. So we know some families are, re are reusing diapers oh. or using things like paper towels. So we have to help them. So as we all get ready for, you know, my baby to arrive here, we wanted to raise awareness and host a diaper drive with West Side Baby, and many of you are already getting excited about helping as well. So check out one mom who is making a difference in Bremerton. Hey everybody, it's Hi. Michelle and Hi. Rebecca. Okay, so we were watching Out for Text the other day, yes. and a woman texted us and said she has some diapers for our diaper drive. And she's in Bremerton. Yeah, which means we can go to Ferry. Let's go! I'm excited! We're gonna meet Jenny. Hi! And this is Riker. Riker. I'm Riker. Jenny. Yes. Oh my gosh. Tell me about Nola Baby. So, first off, we came up with the name, then Nola, because my mom always called me a granola mom, because I like cloth diapered, I breastfed, mm -hmm. extended, I co slept, did all the crunchy stuff. So she's like, oh, you're such a granola <laughs> mom. And I was like, Nola. <laughs> Why do you love cloth diapers so much? I don't know, I just became very green-minded mm -hmm. of the environment, as my husband likes to call me a hippie, but <laughs> yeah, that's probably it. Why did you want to text in and be part of the diaper drive? To be honest, there's like a stigma around it of, it. oh, they're hard to wash, they're hard to clean, but they're not. They're easy peasy. There's lots of options out there for different lifestyles, too. Yeah, I would love to learn more yeah. about cloth diapering, because I want to do it. So. Exciting! <laughs> Yay! Yay, what do you think? <laughs> Yay, are you excited with your little face? Oh my goodness. The diaper sticks and there's two other diaper that. cream as well. Thank you so much. Look. How cool. Thank you yeah, so much. Thank you for coming over. So many Yay! People. Thank you. Even if like one person tries one, they get hooked, it'll be great. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, well, I'm gonna be in touch with you. Awesome. Thank you. You know where to find me. Enjoy your nice ride back. Hey. So exciting! So just want to say, if you want to learn more about helping, you can text the word diaper to 206-448-4545. We will send you a link with all the information. But just know that we're collecting diapers in front of the QFC at U Village from 3 to 6. Uh, and it's going to be so much fun. You can buy diapers right in the store and then donate, you know, or bring your own, whatever. Also, you know, if your kids have grown out of diapers, you can bring the rest, you know, like the open bags left behind. Mm -hmm. So just make sure that the diapers are clean. That's all they care That's about. Nice. You know, and obviously you can bring cloth diapers or, or whatever. A little so. more work, and with one kid we actually went through those. You did cloth diapers. Uh, you did cloth diapers. They're real fancy. They're not the old ones you you pin with, you know, you put on with pins. I've got snaps. Doing cloth diapers? I'm not doing them anymore. No. I, quite a while <laughs> was ago. It, was, it, was, it, was, it, was it gross? The solids or was it not that bad? changed uh, you? Or it's, just, it's just more work, but I it yeah. felt it was less wasteful. So totally, for sure. With number two, I didn't do it, but Got with it. second child, I meant. Oh, <laughs> yeah, the diaper genie, right? Just make it go away. Yeah. That was totally right. accidental. Got it.